Today will be the fastest camera talk video I ever made. So today we are talking about epidemic sound and how you can use it for your YouTube channel to better your content, better your videos and how the platform of epidemic sound works. Before I go into that, we are going to talk about two reasons why I use epidemic sound to let you guys know what my thoughts are. So first, the price you pay versus what you get. In my opinion, that is just a, you get a lot of value out of the price you pay. I pay a 13 euro subscription every single month and people from the US, they pay $15 every single month, which is not a huge amount. What you get in return is just, you get a 32,000 tracks on epidemic sound. So you always have new tracks to use for your videos. There are so many tracks that you can't even use all of them. Because of that reason, I always keep refreshing my music in my video so I don't use the same music over and over and over and over again. It's boring to me and I can imagine boring for you guys. The amount of tracks on Epidemic Sounds are amazing. I think I've listened to maybe a hundred of them. Maybe, maybe a hundred of them. And also the sound effects. There are 60,000 sound effects on Epidemic Sounds. For a person like me who is using B-roll, cinematic B-roll and things like that, I want to include the swoosh sound effect. I want to use other sound effects to better my b-roll sequence and also my vlogs in of itself those sound effects are really amazing really important for my workflow for my content and I think for most of you guys also the fact that they have 32,000 tracks and 60,000 sound effects is just so as I said price versus the value you get out of it is just so most of the time when you are not using such platform you are using YouTube library for your sound effects and your music or you're maybe reaching out to labels or artists to use their music when you're reaching out to a label most of the time you have to pay a lot of money and you are paying hundreds if not thousands of dollars so let me clarify myself. So there are two sides of the coin I forgot to mention. And the one side is you have to pay a lot of money to use certain songs in your videos. And it depends on multiple factors. It depends on how popular is the song, how popular is the artist, a client video, a big video project. There are multiple factors that comes into play to determine the price of the music, the price you're going to pay, which can end up pretty, pretty high. But on the other side, for example, I reached out to a label and I want to use a certain song in my video. The only thing they told me was I needed to give credit to the artist and the label in my video or my video description. This is what I did. So there are two sides of the coin. I wanted to explain it to you guys so you have a better understanding. So when you're out there searching for music outside of services like Epidemic Sound, you know how it works and what you can expect. With that being said, let's head back into the video. Epidemic Sounds has just one price or one cost, which is 13 euros in my case, for every single song they have on Epidemic Sounds. With that being said, those two reasons were the main reasons why I use Epidemic Sounds, because it's just easier for me. I don't have to go through the struggle to contact the label, get charged. For a YouTube creator, this is not something sustainable for in the long term. So those were the two reasons why I use Epidemic Sounds. So right now, we are heading over to my desk, and I'm going to show you guys how the platform of Epidemic Sounds looks and how I find what type of music I'm going for, how I use it in Premiere Pro and things like that. So let's go. So right now we are on the website of Epidemic Sounds and as you can see there are a lot of genres we can click on or at least these are playlists. So for example the first one is now trending which is basically a playlist of tracks people are using recently more often than not so they are putting it into one playlist makes it easier for other people who didn't know these tracks existed to find them this is one of those playlists which makes it much easier for creators like myself to look around get the tracks I really want or at least the vibe I want to, want to create such as for example cinematic so this is a playlist for cinematic sounds those playlists are combined not by the people of epidemic sounds but some of them are done by creators by youtubers so maybe if you watch a specific youtuber maybe he or she has a playlist here on epidemic sounds so you can use the same exact 
songs those creators use for their videos you can use for your own video so that is really dope so if you scroll down you can see the staff picks and the staff picks is basically the team of epidemic sounds putting together one whole track list so it helps you to find new music over and over again they put those new songs you don't know yet into your face so you are more likely to find new songs every single time when you are going on the epidemic sound website there's a really cool feature it's a really cool way they are going about it and i really like that this microphone sign you can see has vocals so when you see a microphone sign like this one you know that this song has lyrics and personally as a youtuber and creator i don't like to have music that has vocals into my videos and i don't know why it's not a bad thing i myself don't really like doing that so i don't have vocals. what i basically do is i always go to genre try to find the genre i always use which is r b and soul and then you can see you have multiple moods like you have a dark mood soul song you have mysterious you have dreamy you have smooth you have sexy you have sentimental you can always choose for a more specific type of song for example if you want a happy song we click on the happy we know like there's 308 songs you just go and listen this is actually the song I used in my previous video and if you haven't seen that video make sure you check it out but it's a really dope song I listened to it and I fell in love immediately let me explain to you guys what all of these symbols mean you have the first icon which is share so like if you're working with the client or an editor you can always send specific song you want to use from within epidemic sounds towards your client or editor so it's really really amazing pretty fast and easy second one is similar so if you like this song and you want more of those type of songs you can click on similar you have the card you can buy and you don't you don't have to buy it because when you are a member you already paid the 13 15 dollars so you don't have to buy it you need to click on the last one which is download and the cool part about it is there are any producers or people who are in the audio world and know how to manipulate audio you can download the stems download the stems you can change the bass you can change everything about the song yourself it gives you the creative freedom to do whatever you want usually don't download the stems I only go for the download full mix you can see right there is now downloaded let's say this song right there you click on add you click on you click on my favorites which is my playlist bang bada bing bada boom it's in your playlist so pretty easy pretty handy if you want to use this song in the near future quickly going over the sound effects this is the sound effects page as you can see you have different genres of sound effects you have sports sound effects musical sound effects household sound effects human sound effects i personally use the typing sound effect a lot or at least a couple of times i've used the whoosh sound effect when i made my b-roll sequences or when i I'm transitioning from one place to another place the static glitch I always use the zzz, zzz, I, oh, this is my it's my signature style but I love the sound but I got the sound from epidemic sound if you need some sound effects check out epidemic sound so with that being said I've downloaded the song and we're going to head over to Premiere Pro I edit the song to my clip so I see you guys in Premiere Pro right now we are in Premiere Pro and I have already cut down the music and I've cut down the clip so it would be a faster way to explain to you guys how I do it one of the main things you have to keep in mind is I always listen to the things that stick out to me when I hear a bass or a weird noise a drum or things like that when I hear those sounds I always put the cut over there so I always cut from one clip to another let me show you guys what I mean so for example let's listen to the song again That's the first beat drop, again. So I would put my first clip over there. Okay, so that is the first one. My second clip. Put my rock cut over there. So that's around here. We finish up the rest of the clip so you guys can see the whole thing through and I will show you guys the end result. This is 
of what it looks like right now. So I marked the places where the sounds were obvious so you guys have a better understanding what I mean by obvious sounds. But with that being said, this was my tutorial. This is how I use epidemic sounds to improve my videos. I hope you guys got some value out of it. If you did, smash that like button. Make sure to leave a comment down below and tell me where you get your music from. With that being said, guys, I'm heading off. I'll see you guys next Friday.